Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. It's now time for the feature bout of the evening. From the four corners of the world to the four corners of this ring, the fight starts now! Something that comes along every now and then in generation, and it's special. And there's no hype. I'm telling you, it's special. No respect to this guy. Let's go. Now he's got that fire in his eyes. You better believe it now. That was something special. Get the man. 20 rounds, 12 team victories. It is over. A professional record, a perfect one. Remember, capture the body. Great finish from a great finisher. It was Lamb versus Lamb. And still, the undisputed champion of the world. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We come to you live from the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix, Arizona, as Matchroom and DAZN proudly present a great night of World Championship Boxing. My name is Todd Grisham. I'll be calling the fights tomorrow alongside Sergio Mora and Chris Mannix. Five fights to get to. You're about to see everyone weigh in. And, of course, our headliner for the WBC Super Flyweight Championship of the World, it's Carlos Cuadras versus Bam Rodriguez. I'm ready to go, no matter who it is. Carlos Quadras, he's never been stopped. He's a bigger fighter. Bam Rodriguez. You know I'm ready to make a statement. Fight a smart fight, knock him out. Quadras, he's fought some of the best. So I feel like my title shot has been long overdue. Quadras, and he will not waste his chance. And now we kick off festivities with the man who will be our ring announcer for tomorrow night, the incomparable Joe Martinez. Well, fight fans, a very good afternoon, and we welcome you to the official weigh-in of Cuadras Rodriguez, all set to go down tomorrow night, brought to you by Eddie Hearn, for Matchroom Boxing and sponsored by JD Sports. Bet online and Hennessy, never stop, never settle. All the action takes place tomorrow at the Footprint Center, again here in Phoenix, Arizona, and live around the world on DAZN. We will now start with our undercard action set to kick off, featuring these two young junior welterweights, both undefeated, Louis Jordan and Aaron Aponte. Louis Jordan will be first on the scale, representing the red corner. 2-0 with one knockout, hailing from Quebec, Canada. The Mad Prince ready to take on fellow undefeated fighter. 4-0, two knockouts out of Miami, Florida, Aaron Aponte. Here is the Mad Prince. First on the scale, Louis Chardin. Official weight, 138.8 for Chardin. Next, his opponent stepping up onto the scale now, the Alien King, Aaron Aponte. Aponte, 139 pounds, 139. Again, this fight set up at 140 pounds, six rounds of junior welterweight action. Two undefeated rising junior welterweights. 2-0, Louis Jordan and his opponent undefeated, Aaron Aponte from Miami, Florida. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll see you tomorrow night. In the ring, live from Footprint Center, Phoenix, Arizona.
Now we'll step up into the heavyweight division. This bout scheduled for six rounds featuring from Miami, Florida, Alvin Davey. And from Phoenix, Arizona, Adam Stewart. Alvin Davey, six and two with five knockouts for the Miami native. Takes on the All-American Adam Stewart of Phoenix, Arizona. All right, Alvin, first on the scale for us. Official weight, 223.9. 223.9, Alvin Davey. And his heavyweight opponent from Phoenix, Arizona, All-American Adam Stewart. Stewart, 234 pounds, 234 for the Phoenix, Arizona native. These two heavyweights primed and ready to go tomorrow night, bringing you the action from inside the footprint center of Phoenix, Arizona. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll see you inside the ring tomorrow night. Now we'll step into the third fight on our undercard tomorrow night. This is a catch weight at 164 pounds, scheduled for six rounds. Featuring from Kansas City, Missouri, Tony the Beast Hernandez. And his opponent, undefeated Arizonan from Glendale, Elijah Garcia. Hernandez will step into the ring for the 20th time tomorrow night. Bringing his talents from Kansas City, Missouri. As he takes on undefeated 9-0-8 knockouts. Glendale, Arizona's Elijah Garcia. Here is Hernandez first on the scale. 162 and one half. Next, his opponent... Again, 9-0 and with eight knockout wins. Three EG. Here is Elijah Garcia. Garcia, 163 and one half. Tony the Beast Hernandez takes on 3EG Elijah Garcia tomorrow night in this catchweight attraction. And our next fight will feature a catchweight at 180 pounds. This is a four round fight. From Johnson City, Tennessee, Dylan O'Sullivan. And from Jersey City, New Jersey, Khalil Cole. Dylan O'Sullivan, the Tennessee native, 1-0. And his foe, also 1-0 with a knockout in his debut, being Khalil Cole. First on the scale, this is Dylan O'Sullivan. 177.9. Next up is the big stepper, Khalil Cole. Cole comes in officially 179 and one half. Both fighters good in this 180 pound catch weight four round battle.
If you don't have your tickets yet, they are available. You can go to Ticketmaster.com and purchase those for the Footprint Center action tomorrow in Phoenix. And of course, five fans, we encourage all of you to download the DAZN app and subscribe for all fight action all year long. Dylan O'Sullivan, the soul snatcher, takes on the big step of Khalil Co. 180 pound catch weight, full round battle. Thank you, gentlemen. And now fans will drop down to the flyweight division. This bout scheduled for 10 rounds of action featuring Riverside, California's Fernando Diaz. And from Phoenix, Arizona, Lorenzo Smith. Fernando Leoncito Diaz from Riverside, California, 10-1-1 one, one, with three knockouts to his credit. Ten rounds of flyweight action. Leoncito is ready to step up on the scale for us. Fernando Diaz, official weight, 111, 111. Next up here is Lorenzo Smith of Phoenix, Arizona. 111 and one half for Smith. Smith 10 and 0 with 10 knockouts. Our thanks again to Hennessy, Never Stop, Never Settle, and BetOnline.com. All fight odds are brought to you by BetOnline.com. And our thanks to JD Sports, official sponsors of tomorrow night's action on the zone. You're listening to a plate. Fernando Leoncito Diaz and Lorenzo Smith, the hard hitting Phoenix, Arizona, go to battle 10 rounds in the flyweight division tomorrow. And your next fight, ladies and gentlemen, brought to you by Metroom Boxing in association with KO Night Boxing. Ten rounds for the WBA Continental Americas Featherweight Championship. Featuring from Fort Worth, Texas, Edward Vasquez. And from Camden, New Jersey, Raymond Savage Ford. Two unbeaten fighters putting it on the line tomorrow night. In this 10 round featherweight title fight, Edward Kid Vasquez, 11 and 0 with three knockouts, hailing from Fort Worth, Texas. And Camden, New Jersey's unbeaten Raymond Savage Ford at 10 0 and 1 with six knockouts. First up, here's Edward Vasquez. Vasquez official weight 125.9. And his opponent ready to step on to the scale. 10-0-1 with six knockout victories. Raymond Savage, four. 126 for four. 126. Match room in association with KO Night Boxing present to you this WBA Continental America's featherweight strap event. Ten rounds of action as Ford puts his belt on the line tomorrow night against the undefeated Fort Worth Texan, Edward Kid Vasquez. The face-to-face talk taking place now. It'll be settled tomorrow inside the ropes from the footprint. Don't miss the action live on the zone. (laughs) 
And in just a moment, we will send it on down as he is waiting for this interview. Todd Grisham. Hey, Todd, how you doing tonight? Thank you, Joe. Nice job. And here comes the kid himself, undefeated. Welcome, my friend. Grab that microphone. First things first, what were you, you saying to Ray Ford up there? He ain't been in there with the real dog like me, man. So he, he's, about to, he's about to find out what it's like. When you watch him fight, what do you see? Uh, you know, he's slick, he's skilled, but, uh, you know, I'm out think him. I'm a, I'm a lot smarter fighter, and, uh, you know, I have more dog than him, man. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to take him into deep waters, and uh, we're going to test his temperature, man. Yeah, before the last two fights, you only had one knockout, but you're coming off back-to-back KO wins. Are you finding your form now, finding your strength? Absolutely, you know. Um, you know, I've had I've had uh, the tougher fights coming up, and uh, you know I'm just settling into my style. You know, at the perfect time, and uh, he's the perfect guy. I, I asked for this fight. You know, I've been I've been asking for this fight, and uh, you know, finally finally we made it happen. So it's not it's not like they threw it at me or anything. I, I asked for this fight. I've I've been wanting this fight, and uh, you know we're here now. All right. So to all your fans watching right now, what can they expect to see tomorrow night here in Phoenix? Uh, you can expect just you know all around ass whooping, man. A Texas, <laughs> a Texas style ass whooping, Mexican style ass whooping. You already know, man. All right. For Worth's finest, ladies and gentlemen. He is the kid. Good luck to you tomorrow I appreciate night. Appreciate it, man. All right. And now we will speak to his opponent. Raymond Ford, Savage, welcome, my friend. Appreciate it. A lot of people don't like to get up in your face and talk trash. They know what kind of fighter you are, what kind of background you have, but he doesn't seem to be intimidated by you at all. That's cool. It's, listen, it's going to get ugly from tomorrow. I'm going to fuck him up. I ain't even going to hold you. <laughs> Shit going to get bad. Now, you've seen footage of him. What do you, what do you prepare? He what kind garbage. of garbage. He garbage. His footage is trash. He trash. I'm going to fuck him up. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Ray Ford, savage. He's going to be savage tomorrow night, Joe Martinez. Keep your eyes open. Should be an explosive fight indeed. Catch the action again live on the zone tomorrow night if you cannot make it to the Footprint Center in Phoenix. Let's move up now to the Women's Bantamweight World Championship WBA title on the line. Ten rounds featuring from Liverpool, UK, Carly Skelly. And from Las Vegas, the unbeaten defending WBA World Champion, Jamie Mitchell. Carly Thumper's scale will be first on the scale, or Skelly rather, Liverpool, Merseyside, UK, 4-0-1, oh, and, and she's ready to take on the champ. Here is Skelly, 116.1, 116.1. And now here's the WBA defending champion, Jamie Mitchell. The Miracle will step up, putting her belt on the line, bringing an official weight of Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing holding the strap right now. That WBA title on the line in this women's Bantamweight World Championship bout. The unbeaten challenger from Liverpool, Merseyside, UK, Carly Skelly takes on the unbeaten champ from Las Vegas, Nevada, Jamie the Miracle Mitchell. It's going down tomorrow right here in Phoenix from the Footprint Center. Thank you, ladies, and we'll see you tomorrow. No words exchanged, Todd, but hopefully you'll get a couple out of her as she heads your way. Here's Carly Skelly. Here she comes, Liverpool's finest. Welcome. Grab that mic right there. So what does this moment mean to you? You get a shot at a world title in your first ever trip to the United States. Yeah, it means everything to me. You know, I work hard, and I've said I'm going to become a world champion, and this Saturday, that's going to be the night. Yeah. Now, you have a, a very interesting story. You are work at a hospital. You were out on maternity leave, correct? 
Yeah. And, and, then, and then someone said, hey, you should try fighting for a, a little charity event. Tell us the story. Yeah, so I just had me, me second child. I had a little bit of time out from the nursing. So I thought I'm going to do it. Um, a charity fight, a little hobby. And literally from there, it spirals out of control. Literally just realized I loved it, was passionate about it, and I was, I was good at it. So, yeah, yeah it's just um, here I am now. So here you go. And now you get a shot at a world title. What kind of fight do you expect this to be? If there's going to be mayhem. That's all I'm going to say. Mayhem. Mayhem. Mayhem in Phoenix. Well, good luck yeah. to you. Congratulations on making it this far, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. Thank you. All right. She is the challenger, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be for the WBA 115-pound title. Of course, the title holder right now is Jamie Mitchell, who will be coming to speak with me. She won that title over in the U.K. and now brings it back here to the United States to defend it for the first time. Come on in here, Jamie. Congratulations on your win. You look good with all that gold on your shoulder. Appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so just if you can quickly kind of give us your story on how you made it this far. I know you had a very rough childhood. You lived in, what, 50 different foster homes growing up. Just to be here at this moment, what does this mean to you? Oh, man, this is an incredible moment, you know, working since I've been in a boxing game, you know, for, you know, to go all the way to the top. So, you know, I mean, I got here just by being, you know, kind of like a bad kid, always fighting naturally in the streets, you know, and I was pretty good with my hands. So I decided to give boxing a shot. So now here I am. A world champion. A world champion. Not too shabby. Now, what can you expect or what can your fans expect to see tomorrow night? Man, you can see me getting my, you know, getting my win, keeping my belt, and, you know, put on a f fabulous show. All right. Well, good luck to you, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you, guys. All right. She is the WBA 115-pound world champion, Jamie Mitchell, tomorrow night taking on Kathy Skelly here at the Footprint Center in downtown Phoenix. And now, Joe Martinez, we get set for our main event. Thank you, Todd. And yes, fans, we have arrived to the main event tomorrow night. WBC World Super Flyweight title on the line. Live from the Footprint Center, Phoenix, Arizona, and live on the zone around the world. It's brought to you by Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing in association with Tank In Promotions. And of course, sponsored by Bet Online. All of the fight action brought to you by Bet Online, JD Sports, and Hennessy. Never stop, never settle. All right, let's meet our Warriors for tomorrow night's main event. First up from San Antonio, Texas. This is a vacant title. 14 and 0 with 10 knockouts. Here is Jesse Bam Rodriguez. And his opponent ready to step up onto the stage. From Guamuchil, Sinaloa, Mexico, the former WBC Super Flyweight World Champion, Carlos Principe Cuadra. Bam is ready to go and step on the scale. Undefeated 14 and 0 with 10 knockouts and he is ready at 114.1. And from Sinaloa Mexico the former world champion 39 and 4 one draw 27 knockouts Carlos Cuadras. 114.4 for Cuadras El Principe he is ready as well. 12 rounds for the vacant WBC Super Flyweight World Championship. The green belt up for grabs tomorrow night between these two talented Super Flyweights as they are ready to square off and go to battle. 24 hours from now, live in the footprint center of Phoenix, Arizona. Undefeated Jesse Bam Rodriguez takes on the former champ, looking to become a two-time world champ, Carlos Principe Cuadras. Catch it tomorrow on zone. Thank you, gentlemen. They're both claiming the belt. We'll find out. It will be definite tomorrow night, I am sure, inside the Footprint Center.
All right, Todd, the undefeated challenger, or rather the undefeated combatant going at it tomorrow night. Hit it your way right now. Indeed, here is Bam Rodriguez. Welcome, Jesse. Congratulations on getting this fight. Some people have thrustness. What was it? Greatness. Chase it. They have greatness thrust upon them. Sergio usually says that. I butchered it. But this opportunity came out of nowhere, and you accepted it to step up a weight class and fight one of the best in the business. Why did you take that challenge? Because I'm confident, man. You know, I, I worked so hard to be in this position, and this is what I worked for my whole life, my whole boxing career, and my opportunity is here to go out there and show who I am. And you said you watched Carlos Quadras back in the day on HBO when he fought Chocolatito. You were just a kid then, yeah. and here you are fighting him right now. What's that like for you? It's crazy, man. Life is crazy, but, you know, the universe, it, it, it's all aligned. This is, I'm meant to be here, and I'm meant to fight Carlos Quadras for the world title, and I'm going to win it and take it back home. Any nerves, any intimidation when you're seeing a guy that's been doing it for so long at such a high level? I don't have no fear in my blood. It, that, it doesn't exist in me. So how do you win this fight? What do you have to do to be successful? I'm going to just go out there and do me, you know. There's nothing special that I have to do. I'm going to go out there, fight my fight, and I'm going to come out victorious. And to those who say this is too soon for you, it's too big of a weight class, you're not ready, you say what? Tune in. Watch. Saturday night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are we looking at the new champ? We'll find out tomorrow night here in Phoenix, Jesse Bam Rodriguez. Thanks, my friend. Okay. And now to the man who was dancing on the stage. He's feeling good. The salsa. But feeling good. Come on in here. Gabe will be, be our translator. Where is Gabe? There he is. Hey, Gabe. All right, Carlos, what was your reaction when you found out you were going to be fighting Bam Rodriguez instead of uh, Sarung Vasai? Cuadras, ¿cuál fue tu reacción cuando supiste que ibas a pelear contra Jesse Rodriguez en vez de Sarung Vasai? Bueno, cuando supe que ya tenía rival, eh, me puse contento. Y pues estoy listo para el rival que sea. Estoy bien preparado. Yo tengo la medicina, papá. <laughs> well, when I found out that I had an opponent and a fight, I was happy. And so I'm ready for any opponent. And so I'm very ready. And I have the medicine. You obviously were 22 at one point in your life. That's how old he is. Compare yourself how you were then and what you see in Bam Rodriguez. Tú en algún tiempo tuviste 22 años. Compárate a ti mismo como tú eras en esa etapa o edad de tu vida como lo que está Jesse ahorita. Bueno, pues eh, yo también era un peleador que iba con mucho ímpetu hacia adelante, muy fuerte, eh, pues con ganas de ganar, ¿no? Pero, pues bueno, yo, yo como me miro ahorita, creo que estoy superándolo. I was a fighter as well like that, with a lot of momentum, forward momentum. I was strong and with that desire to uh, win, and I still have that, and I feel I can overcome that as well. Do you see this as being a mismatch that you're going to dominate him, or do you think this is going to be a tough, hard, close fight? ¿Crees que va a ser una pelea que si quizás no es pareja, que le vas a ganar de manera muy fácil o va a ser difícil? No, yo creo que ningún rival es fácil. Va a ser una pelea fuerte, pero creo que mi experiencia y mi preparación me va a sacar adelante y, pues no sé, a lo mejor no llega a los 12 rounds. No fighter is easy. I think it's going to be tough. I'm going to use my experience and my preparation, and uh, I'm going to make sure that I uh, walk away with a victory. And you know, it might end before the 12 rounds. I like that attitude. Uh, one final word to you. What's your message to your friends and fans around the world watching Último right now? Último mensaje para todos los aficionados y tu familia. Bueno, no se pierdan esta pelea. Voy a ser campeón mundial nuevamente. Yo tengo la medicina y I am fast. I am strong. I'm very, very handsome, baby. <laughs> Bueno, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations on making it this far, and good luck tomorrow night. And now to another man that some say is also very handsome. Mr. Eddie Hearn is here. What do you think of this guy? Well, who said he couldn't speak English? Right. Uh, I mean, <laughs> at what point can you say you can't speak English, yet you can say you're fast and handsome? You know, <laughs> I like it's it. It's not one you learn in school. What do you think this main event's going to look like? It's a fantastic fight. You know, this is... These, these uh, smaller guys, these smaller divisions, they're, they're really showing us what boxing's all about. Mm -hmm. It's prize fighting. You know, and Jesse Bam Rodriguez, due to fight on the undercard, steps up two divisions to fight one of the most fierce super flyweights in the world in Carlos Quadras. They believe, Robert Garcia believes, Bam Rodriguez is a future pound-for-pound -pound star, a real superstar of the sport. But he's stepping up probably a little bit before his time. That's why this fight is so fascinating, because it's a crossroads fight. You know, Quadras is his last shot to become world champion again, and for Bam Rodriguez, he wants to become a new star of American boxing. 
We saw that also with the Chocolatitos fight, a exactly young fighter same. stepping in. How do you convince these guys to do it when Ryan Garcia won't fight Gervonta Davis, mm -hmm. Gervonta Davis won't fight this guy? They avoid each other. These guys seem to magnetize to each other. Well, they don't get the opportunities that those guys do, you know, and, and I think also these guys, they're, they're true fighters that wait for the opportunity. Julio Cesar Martinez is another great example. You know, six, seven weeks out, steps up a division to fight Chocolatito. You've got one of the best fights in the sport. We need to see more of that. But, you know, there's a lot more politics involved in the divisions as, as you move up in weight, particularly right at the top. So it's been really refreshing over these two fights here, of course, in, in Phoenix and coming up in San Diego, where you've got, you know, replacement fights that are probably more intriguing than the original fights. Right. And, and fair play to these guys, because, as I said, this is prize fighting. You step up, you fight for the prize. You believe you can win. You believe you can become a champion. You believe you can create legacy. You need to take your hat off to Jesse Bam Rodriguez and Quadras for taking this fight and Chocolatito and Julio Cesar Martinez because as fans of the sport, that's what we want to see. We want to see people roll the dice, chase their dreams, and give us incredible entertainment. And tomorrow night in Phoenix, live on the zone, you're going to get it. And quickly, two other fighters you have on the card, young guys and a lot of pressure on them. you got Ray Ford great and Khalil fight. Coe. Those two guys really need to show you something, do they not? Yeah, it's a, it's a great card. I mean, look, you know, Khalil Coe struggled last time out. He's got to really make a statement tomorrow night. Ray Ford against Edward Hernandez is a brilliant fight. I believe Ray Ford could well be a world champion in the waiting, sooner than we think. But Hernandez, I was with his team in the lift today. They're all over it. They believe they're going to win they this fight. They wanted that fight. They, they won it. They called the fight. Ray Ford, he could be that next generation American superstar, but he's got a really tough fight tomorrow night. You know, uh, my heart is, is leaning towards Carly Skelly, of course, fighting Jamie Mitchell. Jamie Mitchell came to Liverpool as a massive underdog to win the world title, and now Liverpool's Carly Skelly comes to America to try and dethrone Jamie Mitchell for the world title. But great undercard and, and big fireworks in the main event. Well, I know Phoenix is excited for it. You can see it live only on DAZN Matchroom presents World Championship Boxing at the Footprint Center here in the Valley of the Sun. We'll see you tomorrow night. You got a final word you want to throw out there? Just tune in. Tune into a great fight and a massive upcoming schedule coming. Next week, we've got Danny Jacobs in London against John Ryder. Coming up, we've got Lawrence Akoli defending his world title. Um, you've got March 5th, of course, Chocolatito against... Julio Cesar Martinez is going to be a thriller. Lee Wood against Michael Conlon March 12th in Nottingham, March 19th. Michael McKinson takes on Virgil Ortiz in LA March 26th. We're in Leeds for Kiko Martinez, challenging, uh, fighting Josh Warrington for the world title. And of course yesterday, April 30th, Madison Square Garden, the second biggest pre-sale of all time in 140 years of boxing history. Taylor against Serrano, going to sell out MSG April 30th. Plenty more coming live on the zone. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the show. I can't say it any better. For Eddie Hearn, I'm Todd Grisham. We'll see you back here tomorrow afternoon.